All right, so today we're in San Juan, Nicaragua, very close to the Costa Rican border. Uh, I'm heading to the border and hopefully it's not too difficult. Uh, it's just another Central American border, so it should be all right. I'll let you guys know how it goes. And uh, into Costa Rica to Monteverde to see the cloud force and everything, so let's go. All right, so we are leaving San Juan. San Juan is a cool little town. I'd heard lots of good things about it. Um, I find sometimes when something's built up too much, it can never live up to it. Uh, I didn't love the city, it's fine. So we're at the border, met the nice friendly neighborhood money changer and border guy. Uh, I told him I don't need help with the border, which is the guy in the back, the guy in the front's the money guy. Um, changed the money, got a good rate. Always make sure you know what the rate is and if they see that you know what the rate is, they'll give you a good rate. And uh, the helper guy's really nice. He's gonna take me to where I need to get my copies. I have copies of everything else, my passport, my title, my driver's license, but I do not have a copy of the import permit and I need four copies of everything. So this guy's going to take me to where I need to get the uh, copies of my import permit. Everybody's always been very helpful at the board, even though I don't pay the money. See. Okay. Adios amigo. Gracias. Look at all the nice bus people. Oh, the nice bus people. All right, hopefully I don't have to wait all day here. Oh, it looks like a decent enough line, doesn't it? I think I go in here. Yeah, migration first. And then I have to do something with the police. I'm not 100% clear on it, but same process as usual, me first, then the bike. So I think it's me, got myself stamped out. And then, oh, why is the GPS doing this? This did this before, where it's losing power. Hopefully everything's okay. Um, yeah, so me first. See, si. me first, then did something with the police. And then uh, the bike. But yeah, I gotta do something with the police in between. We'll find out. No, 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 no. Ojalá, ojalá. No. It's me recuerdo de Mexico. Yeah, yeah. The Dia de los Muertos. Yeah, it's a camino, no? All right, so it's uh, it's getting interesting already. So I get in. Uh, you have to pay one dollar to get a little ticket to stand in line. Uh, I only had ten dollars, so I gave her ten dollars. She gave me change in American uh, ones and five. And then when you get to the migration, you have to pay $3 for an exit stamp. <clears throat> but I got in an argument with the lady. She didn't want to take the $1 note because it was too worn out. And I said, but that's the change that I was given in this building from you guys. So she eventually took it. Now I need to find a customs form. They don't give you a customs form for my uh, motorcycle here. So I have to go find one. Apparently I have to go back to the building, back up there and get the customs form. And then I have to fill the form in, and then I have to find somebody somewhere walking around to inspect the bike, and he has to stamp the form, and then I have to go find a police officer. Uh, sorry, the guy writes the form, and then the police officer inspects the form, uh, and then I have to go to the Adawana. So it sounds very confusing and not well marked, but uh, these are the days crossing a border. <laughs> I need a paper of aduana. 
Ah, ok. Hola, señor. Gracias. Y yo escribo. Sí, allá, y... En el terminal de pasajero, Polis, Custom. Sí, yo, 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 yo uso migración, ¿ya? Normal, ¿Y normal. dónde está? Justo, allá. ¿En otro lado? Aquí, este lado. ¿Este lado un nombre? El o... Terminal de pasajero, Polis. Policía. Estampa, poli, Necesito una inspección. Sí, inspección, justo. ¿DGA? Sí, DGA. Uh, en... Ahí. Gracias. Okay, so I got the form. They should have given me that form when I came through this building, but they just waved me past. Uh, it's so interesting. I mean, if you're doing this all the time, you know exactly what to do, but if you don't know what you're doing, even though I know the process by now, it's just not very clear. Like, I, I came by this building, they just, I'm sure you saw in the video, they just waved me through. Back to the building. <laughs> uh, I don't know if the rain's a blessing or a disaster. It doesn't make it easy to do all this and fill in paperwork. The form's already wet, but at least it's not a hundred degrees. Back in, fill the form in, find the inspector, have him look at the bike, and find the place to stamp it, then go to the Atawana. Woo! Okay, so now I don't want people in the blue shirts on this side don't want to help me so They've told me to go to the other side of this building So we're gonna go to the other side of the building Let's See if we can't find someone to inspect the motorcycle I don't even know if this is the right way it's Gotta be it here Okay, so back of the building, more close, I suppose, to the entrance side. All right, now I get to go look for the blue shirt Atawana person, then the police, then back to the Atawana. All right, so onwards to Costa Rica. Uh, so once you go into immigration, get your immigration stamp, go back to the other side of the building, find the person in the blue shirt to inspect the vehicle. Uh, word to the wise, they wanted me to x-ray my bags. She asked if I could take them off. I lied and I said I could not take them off. I said, if you want, I'll open them and I can take all the stuff out. And she said, no, no, it's okay. You don't have to x-ray it. So that saved me a good bit of hassle unpacking everything and putting it through the x-ray uh, once she signs the form then you go to the police and then he signs the form and stamps it and then you either walk back in those doors past the x-ray or you go uh, to the other side to the door beside where the migration was to the Atawana give them your stamps she keeps the import paper gives you your customs receipt and around the way, I'm assuming someone's going to check on my documents as I go out, so I have them all together. And then we get to repeat the process in Costa Rica. Always an interesting day. But I did two border crossings in one day before, so this shouldn't be too bad. Hola, señor. Hola. Hola. Documento de aduana. Sí. Todo bien? Bueno. Gracias, señor. ¿Y esa cruce la puente para Costa Rica? Derecha. Aquí derecha. Sí. Ah, ok. Ah. Gracias. And here we go. I'm just gonna go through this. I hope I don't actually have to do this fumigation thing. Well, they had to do it once they sprayed the under the bike. I haven't actually had to sit in one of these big giant things which just poison me. Oh, geez. Oh, wow, those are big dips there. I don't even see anybody there. So, oh, 
it's a rough road. Let's see, it's Aki. Friendly truck driver told me it's this way. Nothing at all is well signed. Literally nothing. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. No, he said to go this way. Now I'm not so sure. I'm gonna give it a go. Jeez. Are you taking your life in your hands here? Alamo Enterprise. I feel like this is gonna be a confusing one. Let's see, what do we got here? Cajero Timatico. Luggage check area. Luggage check area. Well, now I know why everybody uh, recommends the Los Chiles border and Alta Peñas Blancas. I showed up right behind, looks like a dozen buses. The line's just crazy. I'd imagine I'm gonna be waiting a few hours. Check this out. Oh, it's so hot. It's so, so hot. Part one done. So you just gotta wait in that line there for as long as it takes, about an hour or so, and then uh, go to immigration, get your passport stamp, scan your bags. They didn't make me scan it. And then you go to this little building here the bars in the windows, that's the Adawana. They give you a form, you gotta fill it in. And now I must go to the other Adawana and uh, I don't know, buy insurance I believe, Seguro. And obviously do something else because I don't have an import permit. And off we go, you said it's 75 meters away. I guess suppose we'll find out the truth of this. All right, so you gotta go up here. The first entrance on the right, he said. Should be good to go here. So go into the Adawana building, give them my uh, documents, buy insurance. It's about $46 American. And then uh, I'm on my way. Probably got to show this guy my passport. We'll be good to go. Hola, buenas tardes. Necesitas mis documentos. Ah, el documento de la moto. Sí. Todo bien. Perfecto. Gracias, señor. Buen viaje. Gracias. We are in Costa Rica. Woo. Now, it's time to find some gas. I need some gasoline and some water. Oh, I didn't bring water. I'm so thirsty. It's so hot. I'm so smelly, my bike stuff is just, like this stench of sour sweat come on off of it is incredible. I'm gonna have to find somewhere to wash it, but the problem is I need a, a dryer to uh, activate the rain repelling whatever after it's washed. And I prefer to wash it myself, I don't really wanna give it to someone else. It's sort of expensive and indispensable to my journey. But then yeah, you gotta dry it for 10 minutes to activate the uh, water repellent after washing it. So, 
gotta find somewhere to do that. It's so bad. It smells so bad. I just gave myself a stupidly close call. Um, wow, that was like really, really close and 100% my fault. Didn't have the camera going. Uh, I started feeling just all of a sudden really, really tired. I don't know why, like I wasn't out late last night or anything like that. It hasn't happened very often. I think it's just been a really hot, long day. I haven't drinking enough water, uh, drank enough water, haven't eaten really anything since breakfast. So I started feeling really, really tired. It's only happened a few times in my life where like really tired where you're sort of like the long blinks. And uh, I'm pretty sure my eyes weren't closed. I think my mind must've just wandered. And uh, yeah, I was falling behind a truck. There was a pickup truck behind it. They were pitted in front of me. And then all of a sudden, next thing I know, they were slowing down to go over one of those topes, almost stopping. And like, I very close, I almost ran into the back of the pickup truck. Like that would have been trip over, could have been life over. I was going really fast and I had to dive into the other lane. Uh, and if there was a car there, I would have hit that head on. Like, wow, that was really, really dumb. So. Um, I'm pretty close thing only have like an hour and a half left. I stopped got a red pull whatever um, The adrenaline woke me right back up. Uh, wow, that's like really really silly. I know so much better than that, but It happens I guess all right. Yeah, definitely a lot more awake Woo! That was so close and so dumb. Oh my god. I could have been really like it. It was really close to being really bad really embarrassed about it but you got to share the good and the bad so that hopefully people can learn from your mistakes hopefully learn from mine <laughs>